Hello and welcome back to Let's Dream Breath of Fire 3. I was about to say 4. I don't know what I was thinking. But hey, what do you know? I have pretty much everything set up for once when I start the stream. Wonders overseas, right? Well, last we left off, I actually got pretty close to the end of the game here. We're actually going to the Desert of Death now. Which is a one-way stretch to the final area of the game, so... While I go ahead and show off the Masters and whatnot, let me talk about a couple of things here. Yeah, we just started... It feels like we just started. Um... Do um, adult reuse stuff not too long ago, like a couple of sessions back, and we're already almost done with the game. I feel like, um, that's kind of messed up, but we finally got what I wanted. Chain form. Basically, this form basically means that it, whoever's in the front row um, shares what, what speed he has with the whole party. So basically if Ray's at the front and he has 51 speed, that means everyone is 51 speed. Nina's technically faster for now, but that's actually pretty nice. Only one character needs to have a high speed value now. And that certainly makes it a lot easier for characters to specialize in other fields without feeling let down that they're not going to get those extra turns. It's almost abusable in how good it is, but I'm going to use it anyway. It's definitely one of the best ones to have, especially if you're a fan of Ray like I am. Now, we were full on formations, so what does Lang give us? You don't actually get a formation from him, you just get an item, which... A lot of people would say he's not worth the effort, and he probably isn't, since you can get Cupid's lore other ways, technically, but... Eh, I may as well. It's only three levels, it's not gonna kill me. For sure it's HP while walking. Um, if you're a fan of Gar, then this would be great for him, because it will circumvent the damage he takes from his ultimate weapon. Well, second ultimate weapon. There is a better one for him. However, getting it can be a bit of a pain. Um, I'll get into that later, though. I was also working on getting Gar some levels too, to um, go after Hachio's skills, the Shaft from Windia Castle. I also need to work more on Peiko to finish off Hondora, but outside of that I think we're pretty much caught up. Ryu just needs Leiden and Nina just needs Dees, so yeah, that's gonna be easy to deal with. So I think I handled this pretty well, all things considered. Before I before I get past level 50, we'll have them all finished and accounted for. So yay, go me. And I don't think getting level 50 is going to be all that hard, thanks to, thanks to the Ivory Dice. But yeah, like I was mentioning though, I'm really not a fan of the fact that, uh... Um, the adult Ryu storyline is as condensed as it is, because, like, 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 if I were to describe it to you, it would sound like a lot, but you go through it so quickly. It just feels wrong in so many levels. Um, especially since everything has been kind of building up to this. Like, you'd think that 
that this would be more important, but honestly? It doesn't it doesn't seem that way at all though. Hmm. I actually need to get them with masters, actually. Well, Ryu can be on Layden. I actually forgot he was still on base. Okay, Layden is kind of a mixed bag when it comes to stat level ups. He doesn't give you any HP or AP, like... He, he subtracts that by six for each one. However, the other stats all go up tremendously. So, if, AT, if HP or AP isn't something you care too much about, and for Ryu it really doesn't matter at this point, then his other stats will pretty much skyrocket every level. It's pretty ridiculous, honestly. As, as, as good as it might sound for other characters, I really would recommend it. Because... Um, for Ray. I would really, I would recommend Miraleep for him. I think. Let me check real quick. For him, speed is always the most important, but I would not put him in a master that would circumvent his attack power too much. Because of that, I'm really wondering if Delonzo would be better for him. Uh, let's see, power plus one, agility plus one. Let's see, and Merrily gives you what? I mean, I could switch him around for different masters, depending on my priorities, but... Where are you, damn it? Okay, agility plus two, HP minus one, power minus one, defense minus one. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking Delonzo then, because that sounds like something that would be kind of dumb for him. Okay. It won't take me too long to do that, thankfully. Merrily Mer gives him more agility per level, but his power will go down using her, so that probably wouldn't be the best idea. I mean, Ray would get, still get a lot of power, don't get me wrong. But that extra agility just wouldn't be worth it. I'd rather go with more of a balanced agility-based master. Plus... Yeah, Delonzo does have the added benefit of making him more accurate with his attacks. So, while Ray is pretty accurate in general, that certainly wouldn't hurt. And Ryu and Nina are pretty much good where they are for um, masters. Layden and Deez in particular. So that's nice. Um, Ryu and Nina won't be getting any HP though, I'll say that much. At least not for the moment. But as we've already seen, life shards are not hard to get, so that's not a problem. Of course, Ryu that won't need HP for a while anyway, so I'm not too concerned about that. You only need about 200 or so for the entire game. You never need more than that. 
As a matter of fact, I could say you don't need HP anyway, since at this point in the game you can buy soul gems. So that's really not a problem anymore. It's more about AP and your other stats, honestly. Speaking of, I made a mention. I made sure to mention that the Reapers can um, be a good source for magic shards if you can take the time to steal from them and can can stand the instant death. Well, actually, the instant death itself is not that big of a problem, thanks to um, accessories you can equip. Plus, there is a shot you can get at the hospital that also cuts chances of it working down tremendously. So, yeah. Oh, I went to the wrong area, didn't I? Because I did show off that fish and that new rod. So, yeah, I still need to do that. I don't think I'm going to go through the Desert of Death this morning. Because that's going to be quite aggravating to actually go through, and I'd just rather not. I think it's the colony where I need to go to for this. Yeah, pretty much. Over by Combinat, we actually have a very unique fishing spot. And Deluxe Rod has now been replaced. Spanner, strongest rod, could pull up any fish. Well, second strongest, but I don't think they count the bonus rod for getting max fishing points, so... Eh, eh. It has a pretty good, um, um, range, as well as a pretty large fish bar as well. I mean, look at that. It's, it's, it's almost, um, um, half as big as the entire bar, in general. Unfortunately, while well, this, this fishing spot has what we need, it also has a lot of shit. <laughs> like seriously. Like this is the weakest fish in the game and they're, they appear here. It's pretty bad. Catching fish most of the time is effortless though, thanks to this. Now, usually when I play this game, I do kind of something that is frowned upon in the community and I kind of use a game shark to bring in good rods early in the game. But the thing is, the reason I do that is because the game is very selfish in giving you good rods in the first place. Like, you wait so long before you get the best rods in the game, and you're not going to want to wait that long to catch all that great fish. It's, it's going to be a waste. You're missing out on so much. So, I really don't see the point of that. Let me go ahead and bring the chat up. There we go. Also, I need to equip the Deep Diver, but I think I'm going to try to get rid of a lot of this lesser fish first. I only have one Deep Diver, and even though I'm going to be using safe states, I'm still going to be careful. Another thing that I really need to test to see if I'm right or not 
is if the spirit ring does work on the dragon transformations. I still have yet to actually test that. those are, they do not like that, so. Let me try with the heavy Cairo. See if they like that better. Oh, the answer would be no. Good for deep water fish. Well, at least losing the bait through reeling it in is... Oh dear. Well, we have a whale. Actually catching it? Very difficult. Yep, you saw it surface. I say that and yet it's really not giving me as much trouble as I remember. They can lunge, like most strong fish can, but wow, this one's being very generous. Very good. So yeah, whales. Didn't, uh, didn't think we'd ever have a game where you could catch a freaking whale with a fishing rod. <laughs> People have trouble catching those with freaking nets, but like, yeah. Large ocean dwelling mammal. These things are pretty ridiculous. Yeah, the well as an item is essentially a moon tier item that you can pretty much catch as many as you want, given enough time and patience. Yeah, that's pretty ridiculous, I will say. Not only that, but I think you can trade them for some pretty nice items here. And in order to show those off, though, we're going to need the coin. I know with the spanner, I probably don't need to... Um, lower him in close, but, you know, I may as well. <laughs> we have the Royal Sword, which is tied for, um, best weapon for Ryu. Very nice weapon. I need another spearfish. Wait. No, I need two more spearfish to get this. I need two more Barandi to get this. The life armor. Regenerates HP and has a lot of defense. Cupid's lore. Th this is another place to get that. And the shaman's ring. Oh, you also get every dice here too, I guess. It's not particularly worth it though, because... Um, you need a red catfish, a spearfish, and five mackerel to get it. Honestly, I'd rather just go through the copy shop to make copies of this than to go through this method. Because you'd honestly be saving yourself a lot more time that way. It might be aggravating at times, making copies that way. But I'd still think it's a lot more time efficient. 
Unless you just happen to have used all your ivory dice and you're desperate for another copy. In which case, this probably would be the best method to get another one, but... If you have one already, then there's really no need to do that. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of fishing off screen in order to take advantage of that. <laughs> um, the items are great though. Very nice. By comparison, let's see. Piercing Edge, yeah, that's a significant increase in damage. It is tied to the lightning element though. And there are enemies that are actually immune to that. So... It is nice to keep the Piercing Edge around in case of those situations. The Ember B plate, honestly, for him is far more efficient since it makes him faster. His defense is pretty high as is, so you really don't need a whole lot of heavy defense for him. I'm putting the protectors back on him though. Because of the resist status change. And I'm also going to equip him with a diamond ring. May as well, right? And Titan Belt would be better for him than the High Boots. But anyways, time to do some testing here. Who has the Spirit Ring? You do. Eh, Shaman's Ring is good enough for you. I'll make a copy of the Spirit Ring later, though. Alright, time to do a test. I'm pretty sure that I'm wrong about that, but we'll see. I really don't want to test this on an assassin, though. Can I have something else? The answer is no, apparently. Oh, you're getting a lot of experience out here, if nothing else. And I need to buy some items. It's a limit. I think you can buy multivitamins at this point. Now, not that you need them, granted, but... Yeah, I'm moving somewhere else. I do not like the assassin spa spawn here. I think it's I think it's the Dragon Village where you can buy multivitamins, but here I'm actually just curious about carrying more of these type of items. But yeah, I'm going somewhere else. Screw this. Like I'm going somewhere where the assassins won't bug me. Eh, Toxic Man men are fine for this. Yeah, it's not looking like it's affecting this. It will affect their moves, granted, but not the Dragon AP itself. So that is unfortunate. So for him, it's really not going to be all that useful. Why is his HP so low? Did I, turn, did I use the wrong one? That's weird. No, I was using 50 AP for that, so... I wonder why his HP was so low. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. 
I need to see that, because if that's the case, then I need to change it. Yeah, it's true Kaiser, so why does HP so low? Oh, I was looking at Ray, not... Okay, that's what it is. I forgot he's in the front. Okay. Okay, good to know. Okay, Spirit Ring really doesn't do him that many favors. Unless he has, like, something like Aura or Shadow Walk. Okay. Ray's power is getting pretty high, so having Shadow Walk on him would probably be a good idea. Okay, I think I've talked to everyone in there, so... For the time being, I'm going to take the spear ring off of them. I guess I just don't see a need right now. And in exchange, I guess I'll put the, uh... Talisman back on him, since I have nothing better to put on him right now. with that. Oh yeah, that's right. I need to go in there and use a skill link to give um, Ray Shadow Walk at this point. Because I don't need Momo as often, so it's not really important for her to keep it. some magical based stuff while I'm in here. Okay, now for Ray. He can get rid of Mind Flay and replace that with Shadow Lock. It's basically all he would ever need. And I really don't think anyone else really needs to be messed with. Oh, Monopolize. Yeah, I can get that off of you. You know, I can need that for a while. There we go. Yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. something that could give me a lot more experience.
I'd really like to show off these new creatures, but I tried a little bit off screen and I couldn't get them to show up. It's just tank bots, really. Apparently, from what I've read, it's a very slow encounter rate in here. Very slow when you're up in the upper section. Oops. And I hate when you have it on speed up. It, it's really easy to get knocked into the teleporter. I hate that shit. They don't give you enough room to move around up here is the problem. Well, here's one. The Berserker. Yeah, this guy can kiss off. <laughs> Um, it's really hard to kill him. As a matter of fact, I really don't recommend fighting this guy at all. Why? There's another creature here that's on, that's debatably easier to kill. I mean, I'll give it my best shot, but, uh... Yeah, this guy... He sucks. Oh, wow, he's actually he's also faster than me. Yeah, this guy can pretty much one-shot anyone in your party. Oh, he was faster. For some reason. Berserker retains sanity. Not that matters to me. Because it's not like he was attacking himself anyway. Fire whip. I, I forgot you had that. Doesn't look like it did much to me though. You want him to use that in general, but uh... Because his normal attack hits for a lot of damage. All the defense in the world won't save you from that. Fire web. Alright. Kinda wish I could use items right now, but I can't, so... This really sucks. <laughs> um, bone break, I guess, even though it's not gonna do much. Well, I stay corrected. I guess it ignores defense. This guy's defense is super high, though. And this is pretty much where I die. <laughs> but I get I gave it my most honest try. So yeah. Oh wow, I was low on health anyway. Now If you really are serious about fighting it, I would do one of two things. One, get lots of soul gems. Two, try to find two, at least two people in your party that can do reasonable damage to it. Nina's a pretty good bet since she has Mind Sword, which, which ignores normal defense, which is important because this sucker has a lot of it. I'm surprised Bone Break actually did so much damage. I'm, I'm guessing it's because... Yeah, sometimes they can take a long ass time to get into a battle in here. I don't really know why. For some reason, they just don't like to come out. It is absurdly long. I mean, look at this shit. Doesn't seem to matter where you walk either, because... 
It's just like, really? off the other guy because that one I have a reasonable chance at actually defeating. Sort of. like going in the straight line here they come out a lot faster but um that's not always the case though i've done that before and it's taken like a good 10 minutes of, of, of them not coming out so that could be a bit of a problem you again yeah, let's not bother with you. That looks pretty good here, though, so I'm gonna stick with it and hope for the best. Where is he? I'm not gonna object to the wisdom seeds, though, that's for sure. Of course, at this point in the game, AP is not a problem at all, but still. Better than nothing, right? Okay, more AP and intelligence never hurt anyone, right? E except the enemy, but who cares about them, right? Summer encounters just hate me in this game because I've noticed that there's also a rare encounter in our next actual um, dungeon, which is leading to the sort of death that I was fighting in. See, like, you don't get any HP or. Well, okay, I stand corrected. You did get HP. Well, that's Ray, not Ryu, that's why. That actually makes a lot more sense. <laughs> 
could. Yeah, he did get a lot of power from that. Which is going to be useful later, believe me. We're using like a level up for a little bit longer. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. I've seen like two berserkers, but not the other enemy. I know it's the rarest encounter of the area, but still, come on. Wisdom fruit. Definitely saving that. It figures I'd have enough time to get a wisdom fruit in here, but not enough time for him to show up. What a load. And keep in mind, also speeding this up. Can you imagine how long this would take if I wasn't? Ugh. Dear lord, man. Like, just come on. Just come out. Now, getting them to show up is a lot easier when you actually come here later in the game, but they are possible to show up here. Some fruits do drop from them a lot faster than any other enemy in the game, but I still think. Okay, who has the Ring of Fire? Oh, that's not good. Protects versus Flame. Too bad I don't have the flame shot. That would be perfect, but uh, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Yeah, someone has it. I find that irritating. I think it's Gar. Surprisingly. You again? Really? I'm gonna try Mammoth to see just how much damage that would do to you. He has extremely high defense. Well, so much for that.
775. Well, if for no other reason, I can last longer with you. tried. I probably could beat him quite easily if I had access to soul gems, but I don't really feel like um, grinding enough money to buy a decent amount of those. So, I'm about to give up on this. Until later on, at least, because this is just bordering on absurd. I've never had them take this long to show up. Like, this is what? The 50th encounter, almost? Come on. See if there's like another area you have to beat again to show up. The problem is, is that this area is way too close to a teleporter, so I'd probably mess this up. Yeah, this seems to be the only place that can be to spawn, so. doing this a few more times and then if nothing happens then I'm just gonna um, finish some loose ends and then stop streaming for the moment because I'm not going to be doing any story stuff today. This is mostly just a catch-up vid. I mean vid, a string, there we go. Showing off all the different things that I've been doing lately. a creature that is in this next area at the factory that I'd like to show off as well but I can't get get them to show off really this is where I was grinding though 
Now the Hobgoblin is kind of a mean sword, since if the Boss Goblin tries to cast Influence on you, he'll have none of that shit and attack the Boss Goblin instead to show him who's boss. And here we have Pipe Bombs. Which are quite powerful. I think I have a lot of experience though. 400 and so. Here we have the Egg Gang. They cast Ovum, which we saw the large chicken Rocky use when we broke into the mansion at the end. Huh, only one agility that time. Wow. He wouldn't have gained any if not for the master. Lots of power, though. I appreciate that. Power and agility are basically all Ray's going to be mostly getting. But that's all he really needs, too, so... I'm trying to get that one creature to show up. I began to wonder if I need to be in a completely new area for that. I don't know. Go away, you freaking piece of shit. Well, there is a chest over there. Eh, well, I'm trying to get this creature to show up, may as well go treasure hunting. You know, may as well, while I'm here. Artemis Cap. Well, if we didn't get one way back in the beginning of the game, now it would be another chance to get it. Yeah, at this point, enemies start dropping as much experience as the Vulcan. Which is nice. Shit, man. Wow. Uh. What the hell? Maybe, maybe defense is gonna matter more than I thought. Okay, I'm gonna start spamming the hell out of Nina's Magic Peach Battle at this rate. Got another skill link. Shit, man. Those pipe bombs are not to be underestimated. Where are the freaking... Yeah, I cannot get... Okay, that was just adorable, like the pink egg with the wings. I'm not putting up with your shit anymore. Screw you. Yeah, wow. <laughs> okay, that's pretty great. He definitely could use some defense. If those enemies are anything to go by, damn. Pretty soon I'm just going to tell you what all these enemies are and what they do, because if I can't get them to show up, need Momo to break that open, but I don't come back to that. Damn it, I forgot about the pipe bomb. At least he just used protect. Still not able 
the double retard in here? Are you serious? Is the enemy at man? Uh, wow. Um, that was painful. I wonder what that's all about. I think we're dealing with some puzzles here, so I'm going to go back. Hi. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to explain who they are. The enemy I'm going to show off is the gold egg. Ooh, a fish head. The gold egg um, is a very fragile creature. For every hit that you don't kill it, you break off some of its gold coating. Um, however, if you can kill it with one shot, you get the full gold amount after battle. Which is 10,000 zenny. Now, most people actually buy the Midas Stone at this point, if they haven't already. And actually... Um... You use that to maximize the um, power of their 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 money gain, and it's actually really useful for that, as opposed to any other creature where it barely contributes. Okay, you were, you guys resist me. Right <laughs> An egg with a headband. That's cute. But yeah, I can't get him to show up. What the hell? Oi. There it is. Okay, and now I mentioned what it does. Okay. I don't think they give much in the way of experience, but I'm gonna use my monopolize anyway. And... Now is as good a time as any to use Bone Break. Okay, it doesn't look like that mattered. Odd. Did I get the full amount? Yes, I did. Oh, 20,000 zenny. Oh, wow. It's quite a bit. It's certainly worth it to um, be in this general area, but... The problem is how rare they are. Oh, Nina learned Mjolnir. Awesome. So now she has that with her high intelligence gain. That's pretty nice. Wonder how much that's gonna do. Two sixty five. Yeah, that's not bad. I don't know if he like resists lightning either. He might you know, he might do so. It's really hard to tell with certain enemy groups. Well, I know you don't. So, let's try it on you. 374, yeah. And that's not even using Enlighten before using that. Like, dear lord. Yeah, you go away. Okay, now that I've dealt you, do um, a blow to you, let's use Enlighten. And use it. Hmm, 
296. You guys must resist it pretty heavily then. I wonder if they resist magic in general. Okay, I need to actually go to a hard end because Ray got kind of whooped there for a moment. I know there was an N here. Yeah, you can buy multivitamins, but that's not what I need. Like, I know there was like an N, like a place with beds, but I can't find it. Was it this? Yeah. Does that count? Yes, it does. Good. And it's free, too. That's nifty. But, like... Like, this is the best place to really grind, unless you're planning on going through the Desmond of Death. He's not going to survive unless I can get rid of the Hobgoblin first. So... I need to get rid of Bone Dart. Oh wow. I was not expecting that to work. For agility, keep that coming. How much agility do you have now? 61, so you're officially higher than Nina in the agility game. Perfect. previous area to do some testing here, because it's starting to look like they're going to make me do just that. So all these enemies seem to resist lightning. seem to resist most elemental attacks. There's a gold egg. All right. Need to get rid of you guys. Turn into mammoth. And guess my sword on you. Oh, resist. Oh, I forgot about that shit. Freaking air raid, I hate you. Good thing I save stated before I pull this shit, because wow. 
I freaking hate air raid enemies so damn much. Well, alright then. Kaiser it is. I was hoping to use Mammoth though, since he's generally stronger. Those guys are so freaking hard to kill. Like, nothing works good on them. Kaiser Bros should finish them all off, though. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of money. Why is money important? I have to buy a lot of soul gems for what I have to do next. Now you probably be thinking, well, why don't just want to just buy the Midas Stone? I mean, Ray's keeping you fast anyway. It's not like the lower agility would matter. Yeah, that's true. I just don't want to have to go back to um do that yet. Not until I get all the money I need. Plus, I really don't imagine it's going to help all that much anyway, although I could be wrong. I actually need to do a test here. I just hate having to go all the way back, because that's all the way back to Wendy at this point. But at least I got to show off the gold egg. That's something, right? <laughs> I'm surprised. I figured it would have been just like the, um... Although this will, will give me a chance to visit Deese again, to see if I learned anything decent. Probably not. I'm way off to mastering her, but... Plus, they cost like 3000 a pop, so, you know, you really gotta wonder if it's worth the investment. Alright, let's see here. I believe they stack. Good thing speed doesn't matter for those. Now, would it be worth it to also put them on Ray? I doubt it. Spell Inferno. Well, at least that's a spell she doesn't have. Oh shit. I don't know what I was thinking. Need to learn the spell Blizzard, which she already has, but whatever. And now she's out of space, so I'm going to have to leave anyway. Yeah. She doesn't really need Inferno, thankfully, because she has Sirocco, so that's really not needed. 
You can actually turn Momo into quite the skilled mage as well by taking advantage of these skills, but really it doesn't matter. Because, the, because at this point... Uh, Momo just has better options. I don't think I can learn anything else yet, but I can check. Since I'm in the area. And yeah, I didn't think so. Back to Dragonair with us. Soul gems were about the only thing left that I really need to spend money on, thankfully. And it was the Boss Goblin, actually, that I could have tested that on, though. 465 semi. Yeah, that doesn't seem like it's that much higher. Well, this will be the true test right here. This time I can actually use the Mammoth, since none of those dickheads are showing up. Oh, you're gonna keep doing that shit, aren't you? Thirty thousand Senny, huh? So... About 50% more. So, just with that one battle, I pretty much made back what I spent on the Midas Stones. I mean, I guess, I guess uh, in the long run, it's better that I have it, but still, it really makes you wonder if really you're making all that much in the long run. But uh, wow! Well, if they keep coming out like this, then I will. Shit. Sure that Aurora will kill it in one hit, but yep, okay. Wow, that's pretty helpful. Now how many soul gems will you logically need to reasonably kill the strongest enemies in the game? Hmm. I'd probably buy as many as you can, like 99. You probably won't need that many, but... It would help, though. Because... Okay, I need... I need this guy to die, like, yesterday, so... So I can do a proper test of this. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's pretty good. Bernina's intelligence only being at uh, 217, that's amazing. And keep in mind, I had her uh, wisdom ring off to equip this, so she actually um, would have done even more damage had I equipped her with that. So that's really great. Oh shit, I forgot. I keep, I keep underestimating them. They don't look like they'd be that hard. testing something here though. I'm wondering if they only cap at two. I think they might. Yeah, I think they do. I, I won't truly really know until another uh, gold egg shows up, though. I am quickly getting the amount I need, though. What I kind of wish is that there was an accessory that actually boosted experience, because we have one for Zenny, but not experience, and that's very disappointing, because I would have loved to have something like that in this game, considering how important levels are, you know. The most we get is Ivory dies, and... Okay, can I, like... Can I, like, kill you before you kill me? Yes. He's getting a lot more power than agility, oddly enough. That's weird. fully heal me. What? Two of them for once. Okay. I might want to use Soraco for this one, though. Because they do hit pretty hard. Not as hard as the other guys, though, surprisingly. 
Yeah, that was a nice little boost to his experience. Although he is catching up to them in levels, so that's nice. Yeah, it's important that he does that. The next time we stream, I will be going through the Desert of Death, though. And after that, we won't have much left to do, that's for sure. Which is very disappointing, because I usually look forward to the end of a game, because that's when all the really neat stuff supposedly opens up, but not this game. That's very disappointing for me. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get her more defense. Thankfully, it's not hard to do. We know exactly where to get those. These guys are just so absurdly strong compared to everything else here. It's ridiculous. the gold egg. So, we know what to do about this. Still no bone break, oddly enough. Really? How many bones does it take? Well, really? It's gonna run first turn. Is it guaranteed? No. It's not guaranteed. Okay. Thank God, I thought I was screwed there. Yeah, that would have um, really disappointed me. Yep. I only need two Midas Stone, so I could probably sell those two back. Honestly, I should have equipped the coupons when I bought the Midas Stone as well. I would have got a pretty good discount. Oh well, it doesn't matter. A few more battles with those and I'll have as much money as I need. I don't know how much I'll be saving with the coupons. Oh yeah, I forgot. <sighs> I'm surprised that it's Ray lived through that. Okay. I think that's pretty much where I'm going to be calling it quits, though. I've pretty much shown off everything I need to, and next time I'm going to be considerably more leveled with these guys, most likely, while I get the rest of the gold I need. Gonna be... Saving up money for the soul gems. And that'll, that will uh, pretty much give me time to show off the Lava Man trick once I do. The Lava Man trick, in terms of getting experience, is probably the most convenient way. But not the easiest. Like, it requires a lot of soul gems to pull it off. And I don't know if the experience is worth it. The two enemies that are inside the container yard generally don't require that same amount of preparation. And give about probably the same amount that you would probably get anyway. So. However, you have to be pretty strong to beat those two. So, you know, it's... It's like, do you want to take the time to prepare for them to get that high experience? 
or would you rather just get the experience sooner, but have to go through a lot of money to do so? Eh, I'd just rather go to the container yard. I mean, soul gems are not cheap, like, at base value they cost 3,000 gold. You can also get them through fishing, but that takes almost just as long as getting money to buy them. And... I just think that, um, thanks to the gold egg, money is just easier to get than, than it would be to get the same amount of effort through fishing. Because each one of these battles now is giving me enough money for 10 soul gems. So that's pretty great. Um, but that's about it, though. Like I was saying, though, however, once we get to the end, most of my preparations will be close to being done. I'm just going to need to finish up the Masters, and that'll pretty much be it. Then we can jump straight into the final dungeon. And believe me, you don't know how disappointing that is. I wish there was more to do in this game at this point, but I've pretty much shown off everything. So, I guess we'll just beat the game and move on to some else. Although I will be taking a break after this game. Because, yeah, this game was kind of stressful to actually get through because of all the technical difficulties. And all the off-screen, like, grinding and stuff I've had to do. Like, this game is very big on the grinding. Um, compared to some other games I could be playing. So, I, next time I'm going to be playing a game that honestly doesn't require near as much of it. In order to be good at it. So... So the next time you see me, we'll be um, going to Endgame. We probably won't be beating it yet, but I'll at least be showing it off. See you guys next time.